Hey guys, welcome to the channel and the video. This is KMZ and today this is going to be my tutorial showing you how to update the official firmware on your modded Switch system and we're going to do it in a way where you don't make any contact to the Nintendo servers. You don't even need to change the DNS settings in your Switch, but you can if you want to. For those of you who use 90 DNS, you can continue using that. It will not interfere. This is primarily for those of you who use Atmosphere. I don't know if this process will work on any other custom firmware, but whether you use Atmosphere, Plain Jane Vanilla, whether you use Hecate to launch Atmosphere, if you use one of those all-in-one package type deals like Deep Sea, Cosmos, or anything like that, all of those who use Atmosphere, this will work for you. If you haven't checked out my other video, the link will be in the description. In that video, I show you how to update Atmosphere, Hecate if you use it, Cheats, Sig Patches, and Deep Sea if you use that. All of that right from your Switch can be updated. It is paramount that you make sure before you update the firmware in your Switch that Atmosphere has been updated and installed in your Switch to the latest version that is compatible with the firmware you're trying to install. Otherwise, Atmosphere will not work. If you use Hecate, same thing. Make sure Hecate has been updated to the latest version that is compatible with the firmware. And lastly, same thing for the SIG patches. Make sure that they are updated and designed to work with the latest atmosphere that is installed in your system. So that is key before you update the firmware. Again, you can check out that video for more information. Link will be down in the description. And continuing on, we will be using two homebrews here. The first one is AIO Switch Updater. The next one is Daybreak. Your Switch will need to have an internet connection for part of this in order to be able to download the official firmware. But then after that, we need to make sure that your internet connection gets disconnected or turned off or whatever before we install the firmware. I'll remind you when we get to that point. Also, this is not a tutorial on how to jailbreak your switch. It is automatically assumed that you already have a modded switch and you have the basic knowledge of using your modded system and you know how to navigate around it and all that good stuff. In other words, you know how to install homebrews, you know how to get into the homebrew menu and all of that basic stuff. Again, before we get started, make sure that Atmosphere and your SIG patches have been updated to be compatible with this firmware that we're about to install, whichever one it is that you're going to install. And same thing for those of you that use Hecate. Let's go ahead and let's begin by getting the AIO switch updater and Daybreak for those who need it. All right, guys, so the AIO switch updater GitHub page, the link to it will be down in the description. You can come here and grab the latest version. On a side note, this is a great homebrew. If you have a modded switch, this homebrew should definitely be sitting in your homebrew menu. It has a lot of great features and options. I can't recommend it enough. I plan on doing my first ever review video on this homebrew. And then I also plan on doing at least two more tutorials that focus just on this homebrew itself. But for now, let's go ahead and go over to the releases. And for right now, all you need is the switch updater zip. You don't need these two JSON files, at least not for right now. If you do want to know what these are for, you can read that information over at the main GitHub page we were just on. But for now, just grab the zip. Now, if you don't have Daybreak in your homebrew menu, just double check. If you do not have it, then you need to get it from Atmosphere. If you watched my previous video on how to update Atmosphere, Hecate and all that stuff, when you updated Atmosphere, if you've already taken care of that, and if you use that method that I showed you, it automatically should have put Daybreak in your homebrew menu. So this is only for people who don't have it. If you don't have Daybreak, come here, grab the without Mesosphere zip file. It's also in this one up here. You could really grab either one. I just used it without Mesosphere. Go ahead and download that. I'll meet you back at the desktop here in just a second. All right, so go ahead and grab first the AIO switch updater zip file that you downloaded, open it up, grab the folder that's inside of the zip, go ahead and drag that out. 
If you go into the folder, you will see the AIO switch updater folder in there. If you go into that, you will see the homebrew right there, the .nro file. But don't mess with it, leave everything just the way it is. If you needed to download Daybreak, if you didn't have it installed already, go into the Atmosphere zip you downloaded, go into the switch folder and grab daybreak.nro. And that's the only thing we need from here. Now we don't need any of these two zip files anymore. Go ahead and get the daybreak.nro file, stick it into this switch folder, and that's it. Now you have the daybreak NRO, the AIO switch updater, so you're good to go. Take the whole entire folder and copy and paste it right onto the root of your SD card by whatever method it is that you use, whether you normally use FTP or something else. Just go ahead, take that folder, put it on the root of your SD card. I'm gonna go ahead and connect my Switch to my Elgato. I'm gonna stay here on my PC, but I'm gonna be streaming my Switch. So let me get that set up and I'll be right back. All right guys, so we're here at my Switch homebrew menu. Before we go into the AIO Switch updater, once again, it is paramount that you have Atmosphere updated to the latest version that is compatible with the firmware you want to update to. Also, if you use Hecate, make sure your Hecate is updated and then that your SIG patches are updated. You should take care of all of that before you update the firmware. Again, make sure you watch the video that's linked in the description because in that one, I show you how to do pretty much everything right from the Switch itself. Now that you've taken care of all of that, make sure your Switch has an internet connection. Let's go into AIO Updater. We're gonna come here uh, down to the Download Firmware section in my case, I'm going to download the latest firmware that is available, which is 11.0.1. Now, if you're planning on downgrading for whatever reason, that's a whole nother tutorial. There's plenty of tutorials out there that cover that. For now, my system, as you can see right here, it says it's on 10.2 but I'm going to update to 11.0.1. I've already updated my atmosphere, my Hecate, and my SIG patches, so I'm ready to go. Let's go ahead and pick this firmware. Now, this will not install it. It's just going to download it onto the root of your SD card. It's gonna put it in a folder called firmware. So let's go ahead and hit continue. And this can vary depending on your internet connection and I guess, how much traffic is in the server of the person that's hosting these firmwares. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna let it do its thing. I'm gonna fast forward it a bit and then we'll continue. All right, guys, so once everything is done, you'll be brought here to the all done screen. After it's done downloading, it will begin to extract the file to put it on the root of your SD card. That can take a little while as well. All in all, between the extraction process and the downloading process, it took me around 11 minutes or so, maybe close to 12 minutes. Again, that time may vary just depending on your switch and your internet connection and all that. So once it's done, just go ahead and hit back and we'll be back here. Let's go ahead and let's continue. All right, guys, so now that we are here, let's go ahead and exit from AIO Switch Updater. Just press the plus button and you'll be brought back to the homebrew menu. Now, before we continue, because the only thing at this point we need to do is launch Daybreak and install the firmware we downloaded. But before that, you need to go into your internet settings and make sure you disconnect from the internet. So you may need to get out of your homebrew menu, go into the internet settings in your switch, make sure you are completely disconnected from the internet, come back here and then go into daybreak. So go ahead and take care of that and I'll meet you back here. All right, so I went ahead and disconnected my internet. I actually just deleted uh, my internet settings. I can set them back up later on. So let's go ahead and go into daybreak. Again, I've already updated my Hecate, my Atmosphere, and my SIG patches, so I'm ready to go. Go into Install. Go to the folder that says Firmware, because that's where 
it put the downloaded firmware and if that folder isn't there it's just going to create it now give this a few seconds and after a few seconds about five to ten seconds then you'll see that at the bottom there we go you can continue or you can back out so let's go ahead continue is already highlighted so press a there and then I'm just going to leave preserve settings. I, I don't want it to go back to factory settings. I want it to keep the settings that I already have. So let's hit A. Okay. And I'm going to pick install FAT32 and XFAT. And it's going to say, are you ready to begin the update installation? Just hit yes, continue. And then just let it do its thing. So I'm going to go ahead again. I'm going to fast forward through all of this and I'll be right back. OK, and that's it. It finished actually pretty quick It only took about 15 seconds or so. So at this point, you can hit reboot or shut down. Now, when I hit reboot, I'm going to lose the connection. So I'll meet you back to my home screen or back at the HP menu or whatever. And uh, and then we should be all set. When it reboots, if you use Hecate, it should reboot into Hecate if you have Hecate on the root of your SD card. Let's go ahead and reboot and I'll meet you back at the switch here in just a minute. All right, guys, so we're here at my system settings and now you can see that my firmware is 11.8. 0.1 so I successfully updated it's super easy now you can do all of this right from your switch without making a connection to any Nintendo servers because those firmwares that you saw they are in someone else's servers and you're downloading it from there so it's way safer and then in the other video I showed you how to update Hecate right from your switch and atmosphere and sig patches and all of that stuff so really now everything could be done right from here I also want to mention when you are done installing the firmware and you have that choice of reboot and shutdown as I mentioned before if you reboot you can reboot into Hecate if you have Hecate but on my SD card I have Hecate the bin file it's renamed payload.bin so that way when the system reboots it reboots into that Hecate payload because I renamed the payload.bin so yours may not it just depends how your system is set up if you're not sure don't pick reboot just hit shut down let the switch completely shut down and then reboot into the custom firmware as you normally do so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you found anything here helpful useful informative if you just want to throw some love or appreciation towards the channel the best way to do all of that stuff is just to hit that like button don't forget to subscribe much love going out to everyone out there be careful be safe but have fun and we will see you on the next one